Hello, welcome. My name is Mickey Elray, and I'm here to uh, teach you how to get everything installed for game programming with Java and Slick 2D. It's a little new series that I'm developing, okay? So, if we want to do some game programming with Java and Slick 2D, okay, what we need to do is a couple things. We need to get four pieces of software. The first is the JDK. And the JDK is the Java Development Kit, and that is everything you need to program in the language Java. Um, it comes with all the native libraries and the powerful ability to do all kinds of cool applications and and uh, all kinds of stuff in Java. So we definitely need the JDK. To make our life easier, we're also going to go ahead and download the Eclipse IDE. Um, the Eclipse IDE is going to help us quickly develop applications. It's got all kinds of cool features. Um, it's going to make our life a lot easier. And the final two things are strictly for the game developing side of it. And the first is LWJGL. That's Lightweight Java Game Library. Um, that's an OpenGL um, version for Java. That's very powerful and probably a little bit over our heads when we're first looking at programming. So we're also going to download uh, Slick 2D. And that's a game programming library which works with LWJGL and uh, makes it a little bit simpler to achieve some results and a little bit quicker. So it's really good to start learning programming by using Slick 2D. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these four pieces and I'll show you exactly how we're going to install them. So first, let's get the Java JDK. Just go to Google and type Java JDK. And the first link is going to take you to uh, Oracle's website right here. Okay, so the one we want right here is the Java Platform JDK 7U2. Okay, so it might be a different version by the time you download it. but um, And then you have all kinds of options. What we want are one of these two. The Windows X86 is if you have a 32-bit version of Windows, and the Windows X64 is if you have a 64-bit version of Windows. If you have no idea what I'm talking about or you don't know what version you have, just download the... 86 version right here. Okay, that's for 32-bit Windows, but it will work on any version of Windows. Okay, so it's a safe bet if you don't know what uh, if you have 64 or 32-bit on Windows. So go ahead and download that. Make sure you come up here and accept the license agreement first before you click on that and download it. It's 84 megabytes, so I'm not going to show you that downloading. I've already downloaded it. Okay. All right, back to Google after you download that, and we're going to download Eclipse. So just go ahead and do a Google search for Eclipse, and the first link should be Eclipse.org which will take us right here and uh, we go ahead and want to go to the up top they have a downloads button and we want the very first thing which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers okay you can see it's very popular it's been downloaded 2.6 million times alright um, and again you have your version between 32 bit or 64 for bit for Windows and uh, again if you don't know what version of uh, Windows you're running go ahead and click on the 32 bit version of Windows Okay. They also have it for Mac OS X if you want to program on Mac, but I'm going to do this entire tutorial, this whole series. This is only part one. Um, I'm going to do the whole thing in a Windows environment. So um, if you want to do it in Mac, you can try and try and stay with me, but I'm going to stick to Windows myself. So download 32-bit or 64, like I said, 32-bit to be safe. And this is 128 megabytes, so it'll, be, it'll take a couple minutes to download, but um, not too bad, okay? Back to Google to get our third thing, LWJGL, Lightweight Java Game Library. And it should come up first, and it should look just like this. And on the left-hand side, go ahead and go to Downloads. And you want the latest stable release. For me right now, it's 2.8.2 .2 in January uh, 2012. Um, it might be a newer version for you, but it should be pretty much the same thing. And then they're going to give you four options you only want the LWJGL and then the version number. The source you don't want, the docs you don't want, and the applet you don't want, at least at this point in time. So you go ahead and click on that LWJGL 2.8.2 .2, and up top right here it's going to say, you know, downloading in one second and then it's going to download and it starts and mine downloads right here. Um, of course, uh, right here, people often get confused. This is an advertisement, so don't worry about what's said right here, okay? Don't click on anything. Don't fill anything out right there. Um, it should download automatically for you, okay? And finally, back to Google one more time, and we're going to search for Slick 2D, and it should be the first link. It's slick.cokeandcode.com. And this is what their website looks like currently, and on the right-hand side, there's a link to download full distribution. So go ahead and click on that link, and it should start automatically as soon as you click on it. Okay, so those are the four things we need. Now, 
I've downloaded all four and I've put them all in their own folder. I've made a new folder called Game Program with Slick 2D and I think that's a good idea for you as well. Okay, So if you want to put everything you just downloaded into its own folder, that way you can keep track of everything because you're going to need to know where all these pieces are at before we can actually start programming. All right, so the order you want to do this in is first you want to you want to install the JDK. Just double click it, install it. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to waste your time. Plus, I've already installed it. Okay, but go ahead and double click that and install it, and it'll walk you through that process. Next, you want to get Eclipse. Now, Eclipse comes in a zip file. A zip file needs to be extracted. Okay, I have WinRAR installed and WinZip installed. Um, if you have nothing installed, it's pretty easy. All you do is right click on the file, and you're going to have an option that says Extract All. Okay, now I don't because I have a couple programs installed to handle it for me, but you'll, you'll, yours will say extract all. Um, I'm just going to extract here because I have a program to do it for me, and you should see a progress bar like this that goes and starts extracting all those files. Okay, What it's doing is it's taking that zip folder and making a brand new folder for you uh, with all those pieces inside of it. So we're almost there, 58%. All right. Okay, there we go. Finishing up. Wow, seems to take a long time. Okay, and then you have an Eclipse folder. Now, with this Eclipse folder, if you double click it inside, this is what it should look like. And there's Eclipse right there. Okay, it's the little purple orb looking thing. Okay, Eclipse does not install. All right, it will just run directly from this folder. So that's why I said you need to make sure you know where all these things that we're downloading are going to be stored on your computer, okay? Because you're going to need to come here and double click this Eclipse every time you want Eclipse to run, okay? All right, let's go back. Now, next two, we need to extract, do the same thing we did with Eclipse with these two right here. I'm going to start with LWJGL. Right click for you, it might say extract all. I'm going to extract here. And that was a pretty quick one. So now I have an LWJGL folder. And inside I should have doc, jar, native, and res. Okay. And last, I'm going to do the same thing to slick, except for slick, I know um, I want to extract it to its own folder. So I'm going to choose extract to slick. If you don't do that, it extracts slick right here. And so you get like a bunch of different folders and stuff. Um, so make sure that you extract slick to its own folder. Okay, and now I have a slick folder, and inside I have all these things. Okay, now once you're done with that, you can actually delete all the zip files and Java, and you should be left with a slick folder, an Eclipse folder, and an LWJGL folder. Okay, once you've done that, you have been successful. Okay, and looks like about eight minutes. So. Uh, Make sure that you got those three downloaded. Uh, leave a comment in the section if you had any problems. And I will start part two with what we're going to do and how we link these files together to get our first project up and running. Okay? So once again, I'm Mickey Elray. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, let's get game programming. Click on that part two.